Little brother got red paint on the book. Twat. So uh, today's morning weigh in 160.2. It's good and bad, I'll tell you why. Um, the 162 uh, is last time, but since then I actually became ill, just a stomach bug, I think. I didn't cook an egg properly and uh, a bit too runny. So I became ill most of Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday I finally started to get better, that's why I recorded that video for you guys. Um, and now, What's interesting is that I thought I'd be actually a lot lower. And I weighed myself the other day and I was about 160.7, but I didn't actually record it. I was just, you know, just hopping on the scales. But, um, so what that actually tells me is that we have made lean progress because I can't go lower than 160, even eating only crackers and water for the past three, four days, probably getting no more than a thousand calories a day. And I didn't stoop lower than 160. So what that tells me is that we've made at least four pound, five pound kind of lean gains, lean body mass, which is exactly what we want. And which is quite rare on a bulk. So I'm very happy with that. So today's actually gonna be a refeed day, trying to get all those calories back into my system, try and get back on that bulk. So we are actually gonna be taking my own advice, sipping water slowly, gradually throughout the day, get that water back on board. Uh, we're gonna be eating, set an alarm to be eating every two hours. It is currently about Half one. Shit. I need to get up earlier. Uh, but we did the recycling and then I went back to bed, as usual. So uh, we're going to be eating every two hours, trying to get all those calories back in. We're going to be going to the gym because Thursday, the day you're watching this, is the day that I'm going to be going to Essex. Go and see my biological side of the family in Essex and um, on my dad's side. So we're going to be eating barbecues, all that kind of good stuff. And that, that'll test actually because I'll be trying to vlog. Uh, from my phone and try and edit on my phone and upload that for Monday's video. So Monday's video will either go well or really horrible. Um, but I'll try and vlog uh, over the weekend and stuff like that for you guys. And since we're in Essex, we won't really be lifting. So today is gonna be a kind of a full body workout. Gonna be get back in on the five by five, the overhead press, bench and squat, trying to really maintain that strength even after being ill. Um, probably gonna do a back exercise as well and then a bicep, tricep, superset. Try and just really move blood everywhere around the body, try and keep it all in check because I find what helps with my legs the best is actually hitting them frequently. Um, that helps a lot with leg day and helps a lot with my strength. Um, so definitely gonna be doing that. And like I said, the refeed day, so let's do it. So what's good guys, I actually discovered this meal last night. Well not discovered it, I pretty much made it. I was just throwing things together. I'm really playing around with my diet at the moment, trying to find um, removing milk for one to test if I'm lactose intolerant. But I'm um, just going with a bit more micro, bare foods basically because my micro game has been poor. So uh, we have got just some of this, was it, wafer thin roast chicken. Um, these are meat scissors from Canada, I think my mom said. Friend brought them over. So we're just gonna be cutting up some chicken. How much of it? I shouldn't have sod it, we're just gonna use it all. I think my mom said she's doing the shopping, but otherwise my brothers might go without. So there's uh, 70 grams of the chicken. And then we're just gonna get some of the family pack ham. Grab two of it. Try and speed this up. Not really the best of protein sources, but I'm using what's readily available because mum hasn't gone shopping. So 70, what's that? Doing my math on camera, 44 grams of the ham. We have then got, getting some, just some of the micros in, just colors. I'm not gonna be really counting the vegetables and stuff, but getting some colors in there. There are bell peppers. Cucumbers left over from the wraps that we had the other night. God, this family and wraps. And then just some iceberg lettuce. And you basically got salad with um, salad, some meat, if you want to call it that. I'll just go wash this. Take off the outside layers, I think. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I just copy what I see. <laughs> and then just get slicing. That should be enough for me. Oh my gosh. Iceberg lettuce is like, well it's the only one I think I've ever had, but damn is it the wettest. So we <laughs> throw in the lettuce, that mess. I'll tidy up after guys, I promise. Taking some of the salsa as the sauce and just put that on top. 
dancing with the devil, even though it's mild, my stomach is not the strongest. So there we go, just got a basic salad with um, salsa, some chicken and some ham. And uh, that's our first meal of the day, keeping them smaller again, I said I'm playing with my diet. So this is a smaller meal, I'm going to try and have smaller meals more frequently, because apparently something hasn't been working in my diet. So here's a quick throw together meal that I thought in case you're ever wondering, and you've got these ingredients. Salad, salsa, and wafer meats. See you in a bit. Told you I'd clean up. What's up guys, so we ate at half one, and we're supposed to be eating at half three, it's about ten past three now. But we're going to go to the gym now and push the meal back a bit so that we're not working out during like the 5pm kind of rush. So getting our water in, getting a mop work, getting a multivitamin and fish oil in, uh, just to replace everything that I lost, water, vitamins, minerals, all that good stuff. And uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the gym guys. Flag nor fail bitches. And we're just getting in a gold bar, simple sugars before we hit the gym. Packing the bag up, the usual. Getting that water in. Oh, oh, I'm popular. Oh, I've never received the text during a video. Makes me seem like actually people care about me. Oh look, it's mummy. <laughs> see you in a bit guys. So what's good guys, we're in Trojan Fitness Gym, repping out today's workout. Today's workout is something a little bit different. Occasionally, every now and then, I do just throw in a different workout. Um, and look at the striations on the traps. There you go. That, that's what happens when you're ill. Uh, so, um, it's 5x5 five five overhead press. Look at this, this was 20s. This went up really difficult, mainly because I didn't warm up and I just went straight for the 20 kilos. But then I dropped it down to 15 kilos and look how easily I just throw this around. Like, not trying to be cocky, but for a 5x5, five five, I'm almost, you know, going too quick. I was like, I just felt, well, I expect it to be a lot weaker. I'll put it that way. So today, the purpose of today's workout was actually just to move blood around, get, make sure, going full bro here, but to give the reason, the muscle a reason to stay after being ill and being a surplus for three, uh, surplus deficit for three, four days, just making sure. Um, so I treated this workout kind of a deload. So I did a five by five for the overhead press, for the bench press, and for the squat. What you're seeing now. For the overhead press, I kept it at 20, did two sets, I think, of that, and it was just too heavy, so I took it down to 15, even though that kind of felt too light, and then that was the initiative to make it a deload. So here I actually struck a belt on for the first time ever, ever, since I started lifting. Um, wasn't I kept it at 220, uh, 220 pounds, 100 kilos, but um, I was trying to focus on the depth, but my form, my knees were kind of going back in again, um, and I contribute that to, you know, being ill. So I went back onto the 5x5, five five, did a film two sets, just in case you guys, you couldn't see the weight that was on the bar, and I was like, I know I'm going to get some comment. So I filmed this 5x5 five five, uh, for the bench press, and then the next one. So I'd hit all my 5x5 five five compound lifts, trying to maintain that strength, especially, you know, whilst I'm be going away and just coming back from being ill. Um, and so I'm doing the big movers, and I just did a back exercise, the, uh, iso not isolateral, the pull down machine, did about three, four sets of that. And then three, four sets of bicep preacher curls on the machine, and about another three, four sets on a tricep extension. But I didn't actually film the tricep extension. But uh, so yeah, purpose of this workout: move blood around, have a bit of fun, get back into the gym, free find that passion, and uh, that trap knee, trap knee, back knee. Oh, gotta love your teen years. But uh, thanks for always watching, guys. Thanks for your continued support. But I just have to say a huge thank you to Trojan Fitness for everything, for the gym, for allowing me to film. I'm so grateful for your facilities, for your encouragement, for your support. Not just with this, but you may see later in the video, they actually hooked me up with some math gainer because I was running low and it kind of mutually benefited both of us. But they initiated that and they put that to me and I cannot be anything but thankful. And on with the video. Came home from the gym, mummy had a wonderful post-workout meal. That icy cold drink. And then we got a, was it a beef steak? And barbecue sauce. No cheese, because I'm testing my diet for lactose intolerance. So there is the world's worst attempt at a Philly cheese steak. Wait till two weeks though. Whoa. So keeping the meals as small as possible, but this will probably be the biggest meal that I have today. What this is, is uh, another bit of Sean's innovation. This is, you take the basmati rice, basmati rice, Uncle Ben's, two minutes in the microwave, add tuna, we're going with the sunflower oil just because it's slightly higher in calories, get some fats in. So we've got our carbs, proteins, and our fats. And then these bad boys, Dolmio stirring sun-dried tomato. Add this in, tastes amazing. So, um, yeah, this will probably be the biggest meal we have today. So we've eaten at half one, 
Didn't eat at half three because we had the gym. Had our post-workout meal at half five. It's now half seven. We're our third meal of the day. And uh, I'm gonna show you the finished product. So still in student mode, if you need a great nutritious meal in literally a couple of minutes, two minutes in the microwave, add your tuna. I'm probably gonna make an absolute riot and mess this. Actually, add the sauce in first. So the Dolmio sauce goes in. No washing up at all. That can go straight in the bin. And then we're gonna need a fork for this. Get your tuna. Do you know what? Oh, that one's too bad. And then you just mix it in the bag. <laughs> and you've literally got it on the go. You can do what? Oh my gosh. So that is it, guys. That is the Uncle Ben's two minute meal. You heard it here first. And just in case you're thinking, oh, that looks disgusting, don't forget it is Uncle Ben's, it's Dolmio and it's Prince's. Um, so it does actually taste pretty nice. Um, and obviously you can change it up. There's different varieties of flavors of rice, different Dolmio stirring sauces, and different tunas. And I'm definitely gonna be implementing this when I go back to university in September. But with all those brands, it also means that it's not the cheapest of meals. So um, try and buy the Uncle Ben's packs in bulk uh, when you do buy them get them cheaper. They've always usually got deals on them. They're a high flyer off the shelf. So, hope I helped. Half past nine, checking in with three pieces of white bread and beans, another whole protein sauce. Getting it in, nice coming to an end. And I've got a lot to do. I've got a pack for tomorrow and I've got to edit all this. So, gonna go and watch Two and a Half Men and uh, eat this. See you in a bit, guys. I'm playing the dessert card, guys. Trying to get some extra calories in. Dessert time, two screwballs, 106 calories each. Get some carbs in, I respond pretty well to carbs on this bulk I've found so far. So uh, getting these raspberry ripple or Cornish, Cornish cream or raspberry ripple, best ice cream flavors going, just saying. It's summer, get on it. And this should bring us up to the total, ready for the uh, masculine shake, last meal of the day. So I'll see you there guys. Good evening my subscribers, Trojan Nutrition, Ultimate Mass Gainer. Um, I cannot thank Trojan Nutrition enough um, and Trojan Fitness. Just for how, honestly, how welcoming they were when I came to the gym. They supported the channel, they supported filming, they supported me throughout, well, the duration that I'll be here over summer. I'm truly going to miss them. Um, and they were staying, they were struggling to, you know, get their brand out there and things. Say hi, put my fingerprint in, said, you know, I'm going to be doing a quick workout. Uh, and they were like, yeah, we saw your thing the other day. What supplements do you take? And I said, well, I'm not really a big pusher of supplements. I just take a uh, creatine and then I make my own DIY mass gainer. And um, he's like, oh, what's in your mass gainer? I was like, I'll just weigh in oats. And he's like, oh, um, well that's handy because we do a mass gainer that's got oats. And I thought, oh, okay, he's trying to sell me something. Oh, it's a coincidence because basically I've dropped in that I've, I've ran out because I did run out in episode seven, I think, if you remember. And I was uh, quite worried about my gains. And they just said, well, we'll hook you up. Um, and then just, you know, put it on the channel. So I honestly cannot thank them enough, guys. They are amazing people down there. If you're ever in Bristol, go train at Trojan Fitness Gym. It's in BS3. Uh, look up that postcode. They've got their own website and everything. You've seen what it's like inside that gym. It is an incredible gym. And uh, so this is their mass gainer. Just uh, take it off manual focus. So that's the 90 gram serving. I'll be taking two of those, so I'm gonna be making two shakes right now, and that should finish me off for the day. Apologies that the last uh, kind of, ooh, I'm blurry. Is that better? That's better. So uh, I apologize for the kind of last portion being uh, very consecutive meals. Hopefully some of you took some ideas from them and I had to give that shout out to Trojan Nutrition. I'm so grateful and so appreciative of that level of support. Um, they probably have a website, www trojanfitness.com or .co.uk check them out if you want to but as far as review from this goes it tastes good it mixes great um it tastes salty though is the only thing and like i said i cannot be anything but thankful so thanks again i think the owner's called matt but thanks guys and so now it is the end of the day uh, a bit late I was supposed to have this around half 11 it's actually midnight um but I'm gonna get these down, and whilst I'm doing it, I'm, my dad's away on a business trip, so I'm doing the dishwasher. And in case you're wondering, I'm very tactical with the setup that I kind of do in the kitchen. You know, I'm always focused on a very small area, and that is because our kitchen is a mess. We really do live in this house. I mean, there's seven people in this house, seven times three meals a day. Some of us have more. 
Um, that's gonna be upwards of 20, 25 meals prepared in this kitchen a day. So I've now got to do the dishwasher and this is what the kitchen actually looks like. There you go, guys. <laughs> that's why I'm being so strategic with everything. Fruit's a bit of a mess. Mum did eventually go shopping. There's baby stuff. But I'm now going to do the dishwasher. That family life. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I helped you out today. I've also got a pack tonight. I've got to edit this video, of course, and uh, render it. That's going to take another hour and a half and upload it. Hope you guys enjoy Thursday's video. I'll try and vlog for you this weekend. Thanks, as always, for your support. And uh, see you on Monday. Bye, guys. I really should take that wall chart down. <laughs>